I appreciate you. Welcome back. So sad. K -K -K. K -K -K. Young nigga, I got old cash spazzing on the ass. I got product on my whole ass. What's going on, guys? It's your man C to the J to the C. Y'all already know how I be. If you want the best story times, the feelings, the the happiness, the glory, the 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 the, the sweet tea, the AC, the Kermit tea, the pepper, the hot sauce, the ooh, the chicken, that that thigh, ooh, like that good ass food, that good ass cooking story time, the best story times you can find on YouTube. Hit the subscribe button, hit the bell, smash it, and welcome to my channel c to the j to the c it's your man right here the best story time on playlist shout out to the the the, the ones that's really um good, doing great with this like olivia sarah um tana um nikki glamour all the people that's doing great i'm trying to be like them one day so help me achieve the street as we go all the way up like subscribe comment i appreciate y'all welcome back and we gotta go straight to it today's story time is basically when me and my dad had to walk from fort lauderdale to miami Yes, yes, y'all heard me. Y'all heard me. I said Fort Lauderdale to Miami. I didn't say Miami, Miami Beach to to hope a lot of well, Miami Beach, North Miami, just blocks away and shit like that. I said Fort Lauderdale to Miami. Let's get to it. No time to converse. Now I'm birthed from the old west. All right, let's go straight to the story time. So when I was like, this is like when I was eight years old. Um. Um, me, my brother, and sister, we all had a favorite uncle. <laughs> he always spoiled us rotten. Like, he got us anything we wanted. He always gave us the biggest money. Like, you know how some uncles be cheap. So they be giving, here's a $10 fine. What I'm going to do with that? I can't even get a, 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 a glass of water with that. <laughs> like, water free, but shit, I can't get like a, a, a carton juice with, with, with like no $1 and shit like that. They used to give that. But you had that favorite uncle. He gave me $50, or 100 Guys, he ever gave me was like 250 Like, that's the uncle that you love and appreciate. When I was eight, um, he left Miami because he found a great job in Fort Lauderdale, but he always wanted to stay intact. That was my my dad's favorite brother as well too. So uncle uncle really knew how to like get to people because my dad he not if y'all really met him y'all see he's not the people's person. But Unc really knew how to like basically like get people um with him and shit like that. So it was always great to be around him. Great guy, always had the jokes and everything like that. So when he moved, we was all kind of sad. Me, my brother, and sister, and things like that. So my dad, as time went by, we lost contact with him. But before he left, he did tell him, if y'all want to visit me anytime, y'all pass by Fort Lauderdale. Here's my here's my address. He gave it to my dad, and basically said y'all can pass by anytime and things like that. So my dad waited like two years i think they said i haven't heard your uncle for a long time you haven't heard from your brother in nearly two years and now you think about him like really think about that like are you what are you serious but but yeah like that's haitian for you <laughs> like things like that so it's more like oh i haven't anything like that he said i said dad you may gave us the address and um uh, sis said i really miss him like my sister said i really miss him i would want to see him like any of these days and he said yeah we should like visit for a lot of i said we still got the address it was somehow somehow um, which i'm shocked because my family would be throwing everything around if it like looks like it's been around the house for too long somehow we still had the um we still had the uh the address paper he gave us with the address in Fort Lauderdale and my dad said oh he's going and you know how Unc always loves sharing money so my dad we didn't have money like that mom my mom was like this like if y'all going to a trip y'all gotta have something he said don't worry he'll pay for <clears throat> uncle give us the money for us to head back by plane and shit like that or by Greyhound no matter <clears throat> depending on what transportation we take to get there and basically my dad was depending on my uncle give us money to go back so he didn't take much money he didn't take money with him at all we just got the flight and he basically wanted to see who was coming with him i said i'm coming bro, uh, bro said, uh, my brothers basically had work tomorrow so he couldn't go and my sister i wait i was eight years old wait 
So my brother was not, I'm tripping. My brother basically had a, a parent teacher conference that my mom went with him that night. And that's the night that my, my dad was leaving for Fort Lauderdale. And my sister, well, my sister, my sister was basically like saying, oh, she don't feel like going. So I ended up going with my dad alone. So I said, my dad and me, like son and dad, like basically it should be a good adventure. So it was, and, um, and I'm happy. I'm like saying, if um, give us, if my uncle give us money, I'm basically taking all that money and I'm not sharing with my brother and sister at all. Y'all, sh- y'all dumbasses should have come. But basically like, um, when we went, um, we, we uh, the first thing we did, we, uh, we caught a lift. Remember, we, we, we barely had money, but we got food, we ate, and then basically, like, um, after we ate, we caught, like, at that time, there was, we caught a taxi. There was no lift and Uber wasn't, like, there. Like I was eight years old. That was probably, like, when was this, nine, four, six, seven, eight, nine, four, um, 11, 12. 13. So that was 2003, 2004 at time. So Uber and Lyft wasn't like, like that. So it was like MySpace there, all that shit. Yeah, yeah, man. MySpace. When you went to my pro- profile or MySpace, my, uh, my shit used to be like, yes, yes, I'm a, So what's like, think about that. What song used to come on with y'all when someone go to your MySpace page? But I'm getting off track. But basically, um, um, my dad basically, um, he ordered a, 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 um, a taxi and we had to address that our uncle gave us like two years ago uh, and on the paper so when we got there it was more like a it was like uh, we saw like construction it was like what the hell going on shit like that and then um the neighbor came out he was like oh hey what's going on and it was it was like don't anyone live there he said yeah there was a guy that lived there but he he he, he left like four months ago four months ago I was like, what? How he look? I said, did he look like that? He said, yeah, that kind of look like his description. Remember, it's been two years. He probably grew a beard or shit like that. It was like, and where he went? Like, why did this they make in the house? Was like, he moved out. He sold the property. And remember, he bought the house. So he sold the property and like that. And they, 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 they gave a um, 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 privilege. And now they're, they're constructing a park over here and shit like that. And then we, we like, what? So basically, like, um, my dad, remember, and that's, and you know what it made if this even worse? We relied on my uncle giving us money to get back. So, where our money at? Plus, my dad's phone was at 10%. He used the low, and still, like, trying to, my bro and mom, like, send us, like, send some type of help. He basically used the last one to call my uncle. He was like, hello, and then we, after, like, three tries, lowering the battery even more, it was more like, hello, and he's like, oh, um, we passed by, he, was like, he said, he said, he said, where have you been, he said, we had a construction your house, he said, what's going, he said, I haven't seen here you guys for two years, like, you guys haven't contacted me, anything like that, he said, I left Fort Lauderdale, because I found a, a, a great place in, um, in North Carolina, North Carolina, my uncle was at, that's like, thousands, hundreds, hundreds of miles away, until like that, all the way up there, and we are down here in Fort Lauderdale, saying like, what the hell? So basically, like, my, so we had, and then my dad was like, uh, arguing with him. What we'll argue? While the time you was arguing with him, we could find some way to call for help or get some type of help. Mom, sis, and brother, like, panicking, like, I don't want, they probably worry about us. I'm just thinking, like, if they really love us, they really panic and worry about us. And then you, by the time you should be trying to find some type of help with the phone, he used last percent to yell at my uncle, say, How you don't tell us that? He telling us how you didn't call me for two years and then just go to a dress without even telling you that. He said, We try to surprise you. All that shit, we relied on you for money. My dad really made, and I was just a little kid, so I'm not the stupid one. I'm an eight year old kid in elementary school. Stop it. It's just like, he really made me trust the whole uncle, basically, finance are coming back to Miami. And then basically the fact that he what like he not even in Fort Lauderdale anymore. He's in North Miami. He's in North Carolina. If he was in North Miami, <laughs> yeah, but he's in North Carolina. So I'm like, what the hell? He used the five percent. Dad phone died. Dad phone died. No Uber and Lyft at that time. No bus around. We don't even know how Fort Lauderdale bus system worked. Um, we just saw like bases and homeless people on the street, like uh, crackheads and all that shit. So we just like middle of nowhere no money phone dead what what bruh so basically like um it's just the fact that the stupidity of relying on my uncle to finance our return back to miami the stupidity of not checking before you visit to surprise him the stupidity of not contacting the guy in the two years since he gave you the address it was just stupid after stupid after stupid 
stupid. But yeah, it's just like, it's just like, yeah. So then I'm like, what are we gonna do? I'm a kid, I'm a little kid, I'm crying. I'm like, how we gonna get home beside I don't wanna I don't wanna be stuck for a lot I miss mom and dad said, Oh we gonna walk, don't worry, no I said, walk to Miami, are you crazy? And I start crying more, like, oh my god, they're like, what? Lord. Tears coming out of my eye like I'm eight years old and you your dumbass got me locked in a whole a whole di- new city because you you basically ch- what? So then we started walking. I'm crying every step and then he basically said, Shut up! He said, We got like he had the dead stuff. And then basically I said, How do we know we're leaving Fort Lauderdale? He said, We have to go north. We kept on walking. We walked. We walked. We walked. We walked. We walked. At least our watch was still working. We walked. We walked. We walked for a good 30 minutes. And then basically, who was like, where are we going? So like that, my dad was like this. Oh, um, I think we're going out, out of Fort Lauderdale. I said, you think? How do we know that? We have no GPS. We have no way of knowing unless you basically could read the street, <laughs> like the street floor and know what's north and where the sun is setting and all that GPS com- compass shit. We don't have a compass any, any, either. So what we going to do? What are we gonna do, you stupid idiot, dumbass? <laughs> so like, like, so basically, like, he said, we gonna keep walking. We walk, 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 so we walked for two hours. What? We walked for two hours. <laughs> oh my goodness. 2 a.m. in the morning. We've been walking since 10 p.m. at night. It's 2 a.m. in the morning. And what? Where are we going to sleep? You stupid idiot dumbass. Now you guys. I love you guys. I appreciate you. I'm talking about my dad. Eight-year-old me couldn't say this, so I got unleashed now. You feel me? You feel me, though. You feeling what I'm feeling that I know you feeling the feelings of feelings, though? You feel me? So then uh, we walk in. We walk. We walk. We walk. We walk. Homeless people and crackers. Hey, hey, you got drugs and shit like that. I say, I got a, 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 a gun to shoot your dumb ass in the head. Stupid dumb ass. I'm mad. Eight-year-old me way to shoot. Dumb ass. That's how you know I'm mad. What? What? I don't give a F if Santa don't give me no Christmas gift. Fuck Santa, it's fake ass. <laughs> oh boy, I'm telling you. Like my dad, if I could hurt him when I was eight. Yeah, so we walk, we walk, we walk. We just kept walking. No end in sight. And then then I said, I don't know if I could do it. Then he basically carried me on his back. My dad holding me and things like that. And then basically I fell asleep on his back. And when I fell asleep, I think it was like 3 a.m. in the morning. So when I woke up, I'm like, oh, shit. So by the time I woke up, I, I see like bushes and shit like that. And then I seen um, um, a raccoon. Like, oh, shit. Oh, shit. And my dad said, what? What? We, we stepped like on a tree branch in the middle of like a forest. And I said, oh, a raccoon. And he said, oh, shit. He said, well, you a raccoon? Really? You made a big deal out of that? I said, you fell asleep in the middle of the forest, you stupid dumbass. I didn't say I'm saying, but, but why you feel asleep? Like that's how I was as an eight-year-old me. But I'm saying me now have to unleash. Yeah, y'all feel me though. So basically it's just like we we fell asleep in the middle of a forage place. I said, when are we leaving Fort Lauderdale? It looks like we're still in Fort Lauderdale. And bruh, but to tell you, it was like 7:30 in the morning. 7:30 in the morning. Mind y'all, we were walking since 10 p.m. at night. It's almost 12 hours since we've been walking. So then he, then he find his dumb ass start asking people like, how I leave Fort Lauderdale? People say, why you mean? How you leave Greyhound? He would say, walk in there. They was like, what? And then there was somebody that basically like, um, decided to uh, make us hold the phone. We was able to call my mom. We told her the situation. He's like, oh my goodness. And then you know, there was no way of sending money. You could put money in my dad's account, but he left his card in the house so we have no income mom was gone basically like how you do that shit again we call that shit again um when you like send money to a person by foreclosure foreclosure you know that money transferring thing they used to do in the past like i forgot how we, we don't do that anymore we do cash out fuck that shit but yeah basically like um yeah he, uh, she basically wouldn't do that but he left his bank uh, information everything from his bank his card everything at home 
this dumbass really rely on my uncle. Oh my goodness. So then my mom was like, what the hell? Actually, like, my mom was telling us the right way and basically telling us, like, how to get home and things like that. And then we tell the person, and someone say, if you really want to leave for the aisle, you got to go this way. Then we start walking. We walk, we walk, we walk. It really seven. We ain't eat nothing, bro. Then my dad was, like, telling people, like, oh, that was, like, coming out of McDonald's. Oh, you got spare change. We look like homeless people, bro. He said, oh, we, you got a spare change. He said, just me and my kid, we try and go back to Miami. They said, Miami? He's like, he said, yo, if you got like something for, it's still asking for food. Asking for a Greyhound. Asking for a way home, bro. Like, a Greyhound was cheap as half. Like, bro, any way to get home, you asking for food. Bro, we walked. <laughs> we walked and walked and walked and walked and walked and walked and walked. And we finally got out of Fort Lauderdale. Then I think it was going through Pompano. We walked, we walked, we walked. Remember, we started like, after we left the McDonald's, it was like 9 a.m. in the morning. By the time we like finally look again, and my watch, it was like 3.30 p.m. in the afternoon. My, so that means it passed 12 hours since we were walking. So we started walking. Remember, the day before 10 p.m. at night, and now it's the next day, 3.30 p.m. in the afternoon. So 10 a.m. already passed. It's already past 12 hours since we've been walking. We got to Pompano. We walk in. And then we passed other cities, you know, going down. We knew it was going the right way. And it was like, oh, on the way. my. And then he, it was cars they were talking about. My dad taking the arrows. They showing highway like this way to Miami. He was like, started walking. We walking. I'm like, bro, I'm tired. I, that's it. I'm not going home. And I started crying. I said, oh, yeah. And I'm like, I'm like, bro, like I'm crying saying like, what is life? Like I quit. I give up. They said, we got to keep on going. And I was like, no, 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 no. I give up and things like that. And then basically, like, um, we walked, 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 we walked and walked and walked and walked. And then basically it was like 10 p.m. At, at, at night. So that's 24 hours, 24 hours. And we still like not seeing Miami even clear yet. We still walking through cities. Then we fell asleep. We fell asleep at the stairs in front of a house. I'm surprised that nobody came. Like we, we was trespassing. But then I said, "Oh, this would be a good because there was a carpet there." We slept there. We woke up. Then he started carrying me, and basically we walked, we walked, we walked, we walked, we walked, we walked, we walked. And then finally, um, we got to. I think was it uh, where we got. I think uh -huh. it was a city not too not too out of Miami. We got there. And I'm like, Miami's not too far away. Like Miami's like, it said by stuff like 30 miles away, 30 miles away by car. And then we like, we walk in. I'm like, Dad, I said, I can't do this. And he said, so he almost said, my dirty clothes. I haven't slept in two days. It's like sweating, dirt. Like it was everywhere. We looked like homeless people, hair everywhere, tears and eyes red. Dad basically have like bushes on him, like animals lick us. Everything uh, worse could happen happened, bro. We walked there. Finally, we got in city outside of Miami, so it was basically Betty there. And then there was car went beep 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 honking something like that. And then it was like it was like, and it was like um it was like a, a, a family friend. It was uh, uh, um um Jay Jay was basically honking us. He's like, what y'all doing here? He said, he said, like, he said, y'all visit, y'all visit. I forgot what city we was in. I forgot it was outside of Miami. And they would say, no. And I said, oh, my Jay, Jay. And I'm hugging him. He said, he said, what's going on, CJ? <laughs> He's like, you okay? I said, Jay, you saved us. We've been walking for two days. I haven't eaten. He was crying. Then my dad's like this. He said, you saved us. He said, I love you. God bless you. And then he basically said, hop in the car. He drove, and then he drove us home. We got home. My mom was in tears. Cops was there. She was hugging me. She said, I love you so much. It was a tearful moment. Like, bro, we walked from Fort Lauderdale to Miami, bro. And that was the day I said no one could ever match me when it comes to, like, distance walk. Like, I know of. I mean, I think I know there's a world record. Whoever broke it. Okay, cool. Don't you. But I'm talking about like, what I went through. You could, when people complain and say, well, I got to walk all the way to that store over there. I'm saying, I had to walk from Fort Lauderdale to Miami, you fucking bitch. Dumbass. <laughs> you stupid dumbass. So basically, like, what I went through, can't you can't match. 
So I like I had discipline. I suffered and I had to go through a lot. So no one could ever say a small walk to a store that's not too far. Oh, I need to get my car. Oh, I'm lazy. Oh, it's too far. What my for loyal to Miami. Thank you. Thank you. And that's it for today's story time, people. I appreciate you guys. Remember to like, subscribe, comment, and do all that good stuff. Hit the bell, bro, because sometimes people subscribe. But if you didn't hit the bell, you're not going to get notified. And you already know what it is. For your favorite story time, check out my story time playlist. So much great story times this past that you guys missed out on. But you can check it out anytime you want in that playlist. And it's your man, C to J to C. And I'm out. Be breezy.